Tailver Squad, what's going on? So, um, today's video, it's, I'm building, well, I'm in the process of building a, a little bit of like an air scrubber. So I'm trying to recollect all of our nitric gases and um, basically capture them in some distilled water. So, I just erased pretty much half of this video because the first half was basically just building it. And I figured, uh, you might not be interested in that. If you are, I can make another video and post that. But it's a relatively simple process for my my trial run with this, right? So this isn't this has quite a long ways to go, um, as you'll find out in the video. But uh, the initial idea is coming together and working to a degree, right? So I just have to uh, make a couple adjustments, and um, this thing will be running hopefully full time keeping us clean right so all right well, i'll uh let you get to the video set up my pump goes into the check valve so we can't get any air back into the pump it goes into our flask i gotta set this up i gotta get a better setup this is basically just kind of the stuff that i had on hand um besides the straw and then the extra tubing here um it's gonna go out the straw down into the tube here and this isn't where it's going to be set up so I just wanted to show you here quick um, so we've got air coming in here but the problem is I don't have air going into there which means this jar is not sufficient enough to capture and collect the pressure and then spit it out this way so I've got to do a little bit of investigating here I tried a couple different silicones and some of it pops holes out of there and it, but the biggest thing is it's coming out of here so I even got a layer of uh, silicone trying to to keep that or maintain that pressure it just it, it's too flimsy it's not gonna work well for the double that I want so I'm going to utilize this for the time being um, I'm gonna keep it inside my hood until we get new jars because this is gonna this is gonna collect some of it it's just not gonna save as much as I would like so let me get it set up where I want it and then uh, yeah we'll test it out it move to where I want it to be the hose is gonna come down here so this will be the final hose so if we do get any bit left it's gonna come right out and then into my vent hood so it it's gonna sit here for now just so it's contained because I know we're gonna lose some out of here and I don't want it outside my vent hood um, but I think we're on the right track and I think we're going to let it, I think we're going to let it ride for now. Um, now I left all this hose longer because where I, where I want it to go when I'm all said and done with it is right here. So I'll have a collector box here so they can sit in. And then, uh, when I know that it's a hundred percent sealed, they'll come here, they'll get scrubbed and then they'll come up. And then, uh, like I said, right there. All right, so in the meantime, we're just going to test this out. I got a little bit of sterling in there. So I loaded this up with nitric. Um, I know it's way too much for the amount we wanted, but I wanted some some really good fumes just so I could kind of see what's going on here All right Probably gonna have to put you on hand mode here So we got a pretty good reaction in there we got some good fumes going on Still pretty clear coming out of the tube though. And it's clear coming out there as well. All right, so we got good fume action going on.
let's see here. So it is definitely, you can see that slight hue color of the orange. So we are getting some in there. We're heavily packed with fumes here. We don't have anything going back this way, which is perfect, thanks to that check valve. Um, we can see we've got some condensation coming up here. So we know that we've got, or, uh, we've got, you know, actual pressure going through the tube here. So it's going in the right direction, so that's good. Um, you can see we have a very light coloring of nitric there. So we know that it's it's slowly going over that way. I just know there isn't good seals on these things. So this is going to be working properly. Well, to the best of my ability, or of its ability. But what we do have to get is possibly bigger apparatus. So we probably don't have enough liquid here um, or time for these air bubbles to basically transfer the nitric to the water and that's what I was hoping for the second one but because of my leaks we're not getting that uh, that nice bubble through here and basically just there's with those big bubbles coming out you're not getting any surface area so you're not getting hardly any transfer of the nitric so I'm gonna have to get something that I can easily seal 100% not worry about and two they need to be bigger. So that is my next project. But currently we should be we should be retaining some or making some nitric with this. So in the meantime, I'm going to continue this um, when I'm dealing with small projects. Um, but it's not done and it needs some more work. So looking forward to keeping you guys in the loop with how this project comes along. Um, one, it's going to be safer for everybody in the house. It's going to be safer for the environment because we're not just dumping these these uh, um, these fumes outside, right? And we get to make a little bit of nitric acid. Not too shabby. Oh, I don't mind those cock chops. Those things are, yeah, just mint. This is this is finished up. It's ran through. Um, couple problems. First one, I need an expansion tank, right? Um, so basically a sealed container that sole purpose is to can, to catch the overflow liquid here. Um, I could see myself upgrading to three of these and then just doing this. It's real easy in and out. And then I could pipe another one next to it seal it off so that any excess water will just drain into the next one so you can see just from the evaporation we have well one you can see a bunch of uh liquid stuck in the in the tube so that that'll be prop oh that'll be solved with my just cleaning up my tubing because right now like i said it's just kind of hanging here um but we don't want that to overflow and then have nowhere to go. So then this, you know, that that's not going to work. So I think the first thing I need to do is get a couple of flasks, a couple uh, standoffs. It's easy enough just to pop that out of there. It seems like it holds the pressure fine, especially under heat. Um, it'll give me much more storage I'll have a thousand milliliters of fluid and uh, you know then I'll just do two holes in these for the in and out with a longer tube I think that should help me a little bit better especially with it being thin you know a little more narrower that uh, those those air bubbles will have much more surface area or time with with water so I got a couple ideas if you guys think of any more um, or any better ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. All right, well, there it is. Um, like I said, she needs a couple uh, 
couple fine tunings and uh I think we'll I think we'll have it. So my first thing is is definitely the containers. Um the flasks with the rubber uh rubber stoppers I think would work really nice. They're they're not that expensive and um they had the best seal out of everything. So I didn't have to put any caulk or anything like that because like the rubber um, once I drilled the hole, basically shrunk back down and then you've got like, I don't know, an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter of that rubber basically pushing onto that straw and creating a seal itself. And, uh, so I, I, I like that idea. And, uh, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, I have flasks, which <laughs> is nice to have, especially during like when you start, well, Hopefully, I'll start getting into bigger gold drops, and then I'll always be able to have, like, a, a you know, a nice, clean one if, you know, that fails. So, we got a long way to go, and I hope you uh, get to see the finished results. Might take me a little while. Um, on Call has been crazy busy this week. I, is, I got, like, 60 hours, and it's Thursday, and uh, no sleep from the baby. So... <laughs> Oh man, it's uh, it's been a rough one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.